so either bowl or a pillow or a small, large, whatever size roller you have, this is gonna go under your pelvis. So make sure that if you have a ball, that it's ha like half uh, deflated, okay? So it goes under the pelvis, it can become like a donut. So rollers, half inflated balls, and long band. If you have them, great. So in place of the balls or the rollers, you can have a pillow. All right? Okay, so let's start breathing. Breathe for me to the back and side of the rib cage. So back and side of ribs. Breathe out. Try to lift the pelvic floor off the mat. Bring your sit bones together, hip bones together, lower ribs together, closing that corset. Breathing in. Expanding the body, breathing out, pull pelvic floor, hug everything in. Good. And keep breathing for me. So give me about four more breaths. So five breaths, legs crossed, sitting on something, sitting on your heels, whatever is comfortable for you, as long as your back is nice and straight. So we have the sit bones on the ground, the ribs stacked over it, and the head right in the middle of the rib cage. Good. All right, so I'm gonna have you change a little bit your position. You're gonna bend your knees and bring your feet to the ground and whatever level is comfortable for you. Keep your back straight, so your hands are gonna be behind your thigh. Lengthen the spine as much as you can. Then on the breath out, I want you to scoop your abdominals, holding onto the leg, I want you to round just your pelvis. So notice I'm not rounding my upper back. I'm keeping it as still as possible, and I'm gonna pull the pelvic floor, bring my sit bones together, and I'm going to scoop the belly to round and roll just behind my sit bones. Look at my upper back. Not rounded, just relaxed and lengthen. On the breath in, I lift head, chest, I stack the spine back to this um, neutral position. Keep going. Pull the pelvic floor, scoop the abdominals, lift the pubic bone, and just roll behind your sit bones. So. Your glutes are working a little bit, the deep lower abdominals are working a little bit, the middle to upper back are not working. They're just following the movement. Okay, so I'm gonna remove my hands so you can see what's going on. Breathe in, breathe out, just the pelvis. I lift back up to stack everything, breathe out. And as you do this, your legs should not be moving, okay? Because then you're just pushing. It's just the pelvis, pull, okay? Arms here are fine, supported is fine. So you can hold yourself and just focus on the pelvis. This is a little bit harder. And if you're here, really reach the arms and activate your lats over here to give you a little bit more stability on that upper back. Okay, and let's make that movement a little bit bigger. So now you're gonna really scoop the belly button and push the ribs back and go into your mid back to upper back. When you breathe in, I want you to lift again. Breathe out, scoop that pelvic floor, scoop the abdominals. You're rolling just behind the sit bones. You should feel your pelvis rotating here from the hip joint, lift. Let's do two more like this and I'm going to change the return. Good. Pelvis, pelvis, lower abdominals, pelvis, pelvis, pelvis. Good. Now, when we come back, I want you to maintain the C shape. So you're going to breathe out, come down. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Stay long through the spine. When you come back, I want you to push your rib cage back, reach the arm, the head forward. If you're holding on, just reach the head and, and show this. Maintain your C shape, find your sit bone, 
then you stack the spine. Okay? Either here or here. It's up to you. If you want to bring your inner thighs together and start making that connection here without um, hurting your low back, you can. So scoop the inner thighs, abdominals, go as far down as you can. Find this big C shape, maintain the spine long. On the breath out, tuck your chin, scoop the belly, lift the spine and the ribs to the ceiling, come back, maintain your C shape, and then stack the spine again. Give me two to three more. Breathe out. Roll. Zip the inner thighs if you can. Go as far as you can. Stay long through the spine. And then shift the abdominals and the ribs back up to the ceiling as you maintain your C-shape coming back. Find sit bones. Go up. Give me one last one. I want to see everyone. Breathe out. Pelvis, pelvis, scoop. Lower abdominals. Good, good. Keep rounding that pelvis. Tuck the tailbone. Lift the pubic bone and abdominals. Very nice, everyone. That looks really good. Nice. Now, we're going to use the band for those who have the band. Let me show you with the band what, it, what happens. Leila, I think yours is going to be a little too short to do these. For those who have it, you may also use a towel or maybe a penny hole if you have any. If you don't have, it's just going to be actually a little harder because we're going to do roll-ups. So you're going to hold your band for support, okay? Here. Do, the more resistance you have, the more you're going to be supported, which means the more you, you are able to uh, mobilize the spine and articulate on the way down and up because the band is supporting you. So knees bend for now. I'll just show you once. If you want to go with me, you can. Roll the shoulders back. And you're going to scoop the abdominals, hold on to the band. If you need less resistance, you're here. You're going to roll. Now, you're going to keep rolling up and down exactly the same way we were doing before until you can get your whole back on the mat. Then you're going to bring your head up, press your ribs to the mat, scoop the abdominals, roll up this way. When you feel comfortable, you can straighten the leg and the arm. For those without the band, okay, so you can do full roll downs here, but start with the knee band, full roll up and down, okay? Now, for those without the band, it's just a roll up and roll down, it's just harder, but I still want you to start with the knee bands, and either hands here or here. So, with the band or without the band, you're going to give me three to four full roll downs and ups, okay? Good, Leila. So with the towel, put the towel around your feet and hold on to the very edge to give you some room, okay? The band has elasticity. Bend your knees for now, good. Hold at the very edge. So roll down, and again, like I said, you can go up and down as far as you can. I think I don't have anybody with issues. So if you're gonna go all the way down, keep holding on, Leila, and bring the legs if you want. Now coming up, pull into whatever you have if you need help, if you need help. The least amount of tension you have, the more work it is. Legs can be together, inner thighs connected. If that bothers your back, legs can be apart and bent. So these are all the options. Watch your shoulders, okay? Good. Dina, we're good with this one, good. Yeah, okay. Up and down, scoop the abdominals. Remember, you're still moving, you're still rounding, yeah? So zip inner thighs if you can. You, look how slow I'm going. The slower you go, the more work. Now watch the up. Of course, coming up is harder. Scoop the bed, press the back of the ribs on the mat. Look how slow. Now, I'm imagining you have a big fireball in front of me and I wanna go up and over this back, big fireball. So I maintain my C shape. When I find my sit bones, I straighten the back. Okay, so finish one more. Good, Tamara, watch your shoulders. Open a little bit wider. There you go. Keep rolling, zipping in at times, adding resistance to the band if you need to, pulling with the arm or keeping it straight. Good. Then we're gonna hold it at the top. For those of you who don't have the band, but you have weights, grab your weights, okay? Now, we're gonna do some bicep curls. So I'm gonna hold the band with my thumbs up 
and the band goes between my thumb and my index finger, and I add whatever resistance I want. Of course, the shorter it is, the more resistance I have. Or hand weights will be fine. Bend your knees for now, roll the shoulders back. So I'm gonna show you at a diagonal so you have an idea. Round the pelvis. Now, for those of you with discs that you can't round, keep your back straight and do your bicep curls here. That's what we're gonna do. For those that can challenge a little more and flex the spine, zip the inner thigh, scoop the belly, and roll down only as far as, far as it's okay with you. Too far, Rania, go up. Okay, so look, I'm just a little bit down. Roll the shoulders back and anchor the scapulas on your ribs. Shoulders nice and wide. From here, keeping the elbows and arms up or down here, just a bit easier, you're gonna do, breathe out, pull the hands to shoulder, I'll show you side view. <sighs> Scooping my belly, but keeping my chest nice and open. And then four to five counts returning. Very slow, very slow, very slow. Watch me, ladies. Breathe out, I want you to do the tiny with me. Silvana, watch. Breathe out, pull and hold. <sighs> Reach your elbows to the thigh, hold. Squeeze the biceps. Open shoulder and chest, scoop the abdominals, five, four, three, lengthening, two, one, breathe out, pull and hold, five, four, three, two, one, three, look at my shoulders, scoop the abdominals, open the shoulders, wide collarbone, hold, everybody, Reach your elbow to your thighs, like you want to touch the thighs, but pull the shoulders and scapulas back. Five, straighten. Four, three, two, one. For those who want to make it harder, straighten the leg and continue. Five, hold. Five, four, three, scoop the abdominals and lift. Two, one, and go six. Open the chest, reach the elbow, pull with the biceps, holding. Five, four, three, two, one, six. Tamara, round your pelvis. Tamara, round more. You can go much lower. Go lower. Shoulders wide. Squeeze the scapulas in the back a little bit. Straighten. Five, four. Keep scooping the abdominals. One, good. I don't know. Eight. Shoulders wide, clamp and squeezy, scoop the abdominals, straighten, five, four, three, good job, two, one, nine, pull, hold, elbows up, elbow up, Silvana, elbows up, elbow up, five, four, three, two, one, I'm dying, ten, pull, Scoop the belly, everybody. Shoulders wide. Zip the inner thighs. And go. Five. Watch your wrist. Three. Two. One. And roll back up. Woohoo! Roll the shoulders. I'm sweating. Excellent job. Good. So let's roll up and down just to relax. So bend knees, unbend knees, whatever you want. Hold, bend up or down. Let's roll. Breathe out. Scoop, zip in the thighs, scoop the thumbs. One ball at a time goes down into the mat. Wow, my head came on my ball. How convenient is that? Head up, crunch, press the ribcage onto the mat. Shoulders nice and wide. Pull up the band if you need help or not. Or a towel. Round, 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 lift, round, and stack. Very good. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of back work. So for those of you who have the hand weight, you can do this as well, but it's gonna be a little bit different for you, okay? Um, and make sure that your hands are a little bit wider. So I'll face you, again, bent knees, straight legs, you guys know it's a lot more challenging on the core. Just make sure your back is fully straight. Add as much resistance as you want. This time my fingers are reaching down. It's still between my thumb and my index finger. I'm going to really hug my core. My arms are a little bit wide because I wanted to pull it back without hitting the floor. 
So I'm squeezing my scapulas, back of shoulders, between scapulas, abs tight, lats, under armpits, and I'm returning my our hands forward. Okay, side view. So if you have the hand weights, just press the hand weights back using your back muscles and bring it back to the side. Okay, bend your knees a little bit if your back is a little bit rounded so you can straighten the back. If your back is rounded on this exercise, it's not gonna work well. Okay, so here we go. Lengthen spine, pull the shoulder and scapulas down. Now pull scapulas back. And the scapulas pulling back are going to take my arms back, pull with the muscles between scapulas, your lats under the armpits, and now abs really tight so we're not popping the ribs forward and return. You all know this is a very difficult exercise. Breathe into length and breathe out. Shoulders down and press. <sighs> hug the ribs, hug the ribs, squeeze, squeeze. Everybody lift and open the chest without popping the ribs, and return back in. Okay, so that was about two to three. We're gonna go to 10, so keep going. Breathe out, press. So Rania, watch your shoulders. Okay, I don't want, the one thing, I, keep going. The one thing that you cannot do while you do this exercise is this. Okay, it's not about the arm being back here, it's about the scapula being back there, and the arm can just end up here, but the movement comes from the back, okay? So you're doing back, 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 and the shoulders are going back and opening back as you're moving. Hug the ribs. So if you're next to a shoulder, X, uh, shoulder, a mirror, great. So it's here, opening chest, keeping the ribs and the core working. Definitely no hand up and shoulder forward. So just come to mid torso level and just pull the scapulas through the muscles between the scapulas and under. Close your arms a little bit, Silvana, closer to the ground. You want it to be the closest to you, but not to hit the ground. Good. So Giovanna, it looks like your spine needs to be a little straighter. So bend your knees and you too, Simone. Yeah, bend your knees, don't be, yes. Your back has to be straight. When you're done with 10, so for those with weights, yeah? For those with weights, here are your weights. All you're doing is this, back and forward. If you wanna lean forward a little bit, rotate the palms to the ceiling, you're gonna feel it more. Yeah, so it's gonna be something like this with the weights. Because then, the, the further forward you go, the more resistance you're gonna have against gravity. Here is gonna be the easiest, but it's the same movement. Good, watch your shoulders, uh, Leila. You're, re you're raising your hands more than your shoulders. So squeeze scapulas to take the hands back. Yes, that's it, don't keep, yes, don't keep moving through the hand and the shoulder rolls forward. I think we've done 20, right? All right. And then, let's bring that band back in. Good. And roll down and up to stretch. So breathe out, zip that inner thigh, scoop the abdominals, roll back. And whenever you're ready, roll back up, rounding the back. It's a nice stretch, so try to round, lift, and reach. and then release the band, okay? Okay, so ball, roller, pillow, anything you have, show me what you've got. So it needs to be half full, otherwise your pelvis is gonna be really high and not too hard. So mostly everybody has a ball. So the roller is gonna give you more stability, this is gonna be unstable, a little bit more stabilizing muscles. Okay, so I'll use the ball since the ball wins. Here we go. So keep the band back next to you, okay? Lay down. Lift the pelvis and let's place the ball on your sacrum. So it's right around the pelvis. It's not on the low back. Then you're going to imprint a little bit into the ball, march one leg up, imprint, march the other leg up. 
Now I'm gonna give you guys options. For those who don't have the band, you can work what we're gonna do just with the legs, which is gonna be a lot more core. Be careful. For any of you with sensitive backs, watch with the ball, okay? It's unstable and it could irritate your back. So if you don't like it, take it off, put a more stable surface, or just bend the knee and do it on the floor. For those who want more of a challenge, you get the band and we wrap it around the balls of the feet. If your band is long, wrap around each foot, loop it around and it gets more steady. If not, that's fine. So the band on the feet will be here. You're still holding between thumb and index finger, elbows on mat. Now, when you use the band here, you're going to be doing two things. You're adding a bit of resistance to the legs but you're taking some work off the core, that's okay. And you're working your arms as well, okay? So we're gonna be working different, a little bit different. No band, that's fine, just a lot of core, it's good. Your arm is gonna be on the floor, stabilizing you as well, so there's some work. Add as much resistance as you want to work legs, more resistance, more legs, less resistance, more core, and less arms, okay? So add what you want. Then, stabilize yourself on the ball, bring your elbows to the mat, and that's gonna give you more stability. If you wanna make it harder on the core, elbows lift off the mat, you still work the arms, but you work the core much more. Okay, ready? So, I have the balls of the feet spreading my band, so it looks like this. I have my elbows down for now. I'm pulling my shoulders and scapulas down, lengthening the back of my neck. Now, I'm also pulling my band wider, and that's gonna activate my outer hips. So open the band, yeah, this way, pull it out. And we're gonna do leg lowers. So breathe out, scoop the abdominals, keep your ribcage still, and only lower the legs as far as your back is not arching off, uh, away from the floor, okay? Pull with the biceps and anchor that band, and then lift slowly without changing the position of your pelvis and back. Breathe out, open the band, squeeze the butt at the back of the leg, press. You can only go as far as your abdominals are connected and you come back up. We're doing eight to 10, continue, I'm gonna come check you guys. Okay, so that was two, keep going. Now, the whole idea is not to lose the abdominals. Rania, the legs are straight to the ceiling and you're going down and up. Feel free to keep the knees bent the knees bent will take pressure off your hip flexors and your low back. Breathe out, pull with the biceps to hold the band. Abs tight, lower and lift. Remember, more core, everybody, or whoever wants to lift the elbow off the mat or the floor, and you're gonna have to stabilize yourself much more on that ball. Mona, no. can you show me with the roller because the ball is too heavy, too, I can't hit the You just have to put the roller under the pelvis and you do the same uh, thing. Uh, it's okay if I'm that high, okay. Yeah, okay. If you don't want it, Dina, put a pillow. You can always add a pillow. Ah, okay. okay. Just to but elevate your pelvis a bit for your low back to be a little more comfortable. Okay. So, Leila, more core. Round the pelvis, really pull the abdominals in when you lower, use your butt. Everybody, use your buttocks to, to pull down. When you're done with 10, just bend your knees into your chest. Good job, ladies, that's really good. And think of pushing your low back and your chest, your ribs into the mat, that's better. There you go. Okay, so now, continuing on, we have, we have a few of these, okay? so. If you don't want to reset everything, try to keep motion. Now we're going to bend and push. So hold on again, elbows on mat if you want, so that bicep is going to stay. If you want to keep your leg, your arm straight, you can, just for, for different arm work. Otherwise, you're here. Shoulders and scapulas pressing. Flex your feet, open the band, breathe out with the heels this time. Squeeze the glutes and push. Make sure that you're pulling on your thighs so kneecaps are pulling up and the whole thigh is active. Then keep your tailbone anchored 
forward, sit bones reaching forward, and use your hip flexors to pull or resist that pull of the band. Flex the feet, breathe out. Abdominals, squeeze glutes, push, hold, and then pull. Tailbone and sit bones reaching forward so you're not rounding the pelvis on the ball. You're keeping your tailbone forward. Ooh, if you get your elbows off the mat, it's so challenging on that core. Okay, so we're doing 10. Pull the band towards your shoulders with the hands and your biceps are going to be working much more. Keep the tailbone and the sit bones forward. Try to control pulling back. Okay. 10 of these. Lift the abdominals up towards the rib as you push the band forward. Open the band as much as you want to work your outer thigh. You can keep it open as you pull it back. Okay, so many variations. And later with your shorter band, your hand can be forward more, right? You can be holding your shorter band. I rolled off the ball. You can be holding your shorter band forward more if you want to and work more core with the ball, even holding over here. This is much more challenging on the core. Good, keep going, I'm coming to check on you. Nice. Just use the abdominals. Layla, lower your legs. When you straighten it, I don't want it to the ceiling. You're strong enough to do it at this direction, 45 degrees forward. Your knees have to be in alignment with your feet. If you open the band with the feet, the knees are aligned with the feet. Okay, moving on. So the next one is challenging. Okay, so band here. Now, however you want to hold it. So one, another option on this one, this is super challenging, is we're going to straighten the leg, okay? To the ceiling, less, um, less core work. The lower you go, more core. And look what you can do with the arms as well. This is really hard, so please be careful. Hey, this still counts. So this is more biceps, but much more support. This is super difficult. You're going to go down. Round that pelvis a little bit and connect the abdominals up to the ribs. From here, you're going to open your band and close. So if you don't have that support on, on with the core on the ball, you're going to fall off to one side of the, of the ball. Open and close. So breathe in, open, breathe out. Lengthen the leg, abs, everything to close to keep your stability on the ball. Okay, you can be doing that up here, open, close. You can do it with the knees bent. You can do it with the elbows down. And surely, if you don't have anything, just do it with the legs, okay? Open and close. If you want, if you have a ball but no band, arms to ceiling and do stability. I'm really going to be looking at your core. It's gotta be working. The lower you go, the more connection you need to have you can do it out down here as well with arms, support it, okay? Whatever you want. I'm coming to watch you. So it's another 10 super slow and controlled movements. Good, Layla. But I need you to imprint more. Can you bring the belly, that belly button to the ground and the ribs to the ground? So push your abdominals down. So imprint more. Yeah, keep the legs a little higher maybe. Good. But the arms can be straight and be back towards your ears. So straight back, yes. The arms up and back. So keep it like a chest or shoulder level at the, at the whole time. By the way, the legs don't go up and down. It stays down. Everybody, press your legs down. Stay down with the legs and open and close there, okay? I think I was screaming, sorry. <laughs> So legs, for those with band or without, however you chose to do this, okay, this is not working, there, here, open, close, you're not going up and down, you're staying here. Whatever level you chose, you're staying there for 10 to 12, here, 10 to 12, here, 10 to 12, okay? Belly button to the floor, even more. Chest down, ribs down. 
Good, use that core. Hug your knees, and the last thing we're gonna do are leg circles. So we're gonna get rid of the band because we can't do leg circles with them, okay? And we're just gonna do leg circles challenging the core. So ball or roller, I know everybody has a ball. You don't have to, you can stay with the back on the mat and do circles with the knees. So if you have the ball or if you don't have the ball, same variations, okay? Legs are gonna go to ceiling. Find your neutral on the ball, that's going to be your best position. Then, we're just gonna open, breathe out, circle. Watch this, this is all core, so don't go very low. Bring your heels and inner thighs together, bring it back up. You're going to do six to eight, one direction, and then reverse. For those more advanced ones, guess what? Arms can come off the mat, and you can go open, circle and you really have to use your core not to fall off. You can cheat with the scapulas pressing down on the ground, but if you want to make it even harder, pull the scapulas off the ground and reach the arms even more. And you have less base on the mat to be able to make it harder. And also you can reach the arms back and do it this way. For those of you with a more sensitive back, arms on the ground, knees bent and do the circles with the knees. So go ahead and start with your eight and then we're gonna reverse it. If you don't have a ball and you're on the ground, then bend the knees and try to support your back fully on the mat the whole time you're moving, okay? You can do it without, it's much harder here too. So eight each direction, your main aim here is to try to keep your back, low back and mid back very stable. You don't want any arching, so it's all core. If you can lift your pelvis and move your ball back a little bit, move your ball back. It's popping forward too much and tilting your pelvis. You want your pelvis to be in a little bit more neutral position. Yeah, that's better. Good, so it's on the sacrum, not forward as much. Good, and let's go, eight. If you can challenge eight to 10, good. You keep your hand on the mat a little bit more maybe, lightly on the mat and try to balance. It's a lot of core, ladies. Find that deep core, pull that pelvic floor, sink the abdominals. If your hip flexors are screaming at you, just bend the knees and make your circle smaller. Keep scooping that abdominal. Hug your knees when you're done, you can do your eight to one direction then reverse it so the reverse is going to be straight down open when you open it's much easier to arch the back so make sure you're very stable circle it around okay so you're going to go straight down stabilize open reaching the leg keep the pelvis neutral as you circle back in again any lack of flexibility on the hamstring just soften the knees as much as you need to. Very good. If you need to remove the ball, just lift the pelvis, get the ball off, pillow off, whatever you have that's under your pelvis, roller. Good. And then you can hug your knees if you want to, or just stay here and just relax the back a little bit. It should feel really nice on the mat. It really releases the low back. Okay, do a couple or three breaths there. And then when you're done, you're gonna roll to your side and you're gonna come up to seated or you can do a full roll up and come up to seated. And we're gonna grab the bands or your hand weights for those of you who have hand weights. Good. So we're gonna work a little bit of your triceps, okay? We're gonna work a little bit of back and I would like to work a little bit of shoulders as well, and we're gonna do some arm circles. Um, it works with anything that we have. So let's start with the triceps. I'm gonna start with the triceps seated. For those of you who wanna make it harder, so the same position we had, we're gonna do triceps here. For those of you who wanna make it a little bit more difficult, you can place the band on your knees and you can come on the knees you're gonna to have to use your glutes and your core a little bit more to do your triceps here, okay? 
but you can definitely stay down on it and do it from down here. So I'll show you here first. You wrap the band around the feet, like we have it. And then because of the floor again, you're gonna have to open your arms a little wider. Let me show this direction first. So bend the knee as much as you need to. Lengthen the spine and you're gonna come forward a little bit. So this goes for those on your knees as well. Shoulders down. You're going to bring your elbow back, squeezing the scapula. So the scapula plays a big role here. You're gonna breathe out without rounding the shoulder forward. Make sure you're holding towards the end of your balance. Keep the scapula squeezing. Abs tight, you're going to straighten the arm without the elbow moving forward and back and without rolling the shoulder forward. So keep your arm at torso level only, mid-torso. And breathe out, squeeze and hold. Squeezing scapulas, opening chest. And release very slowly, working the biceps on the way in. Okay, this is what sitting. For those on your knees, Really grab the band, abs tight, sit back a little bit, open the chest, squeeze scapulas, take your elbow back only as far as you're not rolling it forward. So look up, chest up, scapulas, and you're gonna push here and bend. So this requires more core for it to stabilize in this position. So watch me, look up, Giovanna, look up. Chest up, look up, because I don't wanna see this. So. Roll the shoulders back, look up, chest up, pull the scapulas down and squeeze in the middle of your back and press and in. Elbows don't move, press, squeeze. So when you press the, the arms back, I want you to squeeze the scapulas. For those with the weights, same thing. You're here or here or sitting, press with the weight, pull it in, press with the weight, pull it in. So give me 10 to 12. Better, when you straighten the arm back, make sure your arm doesn't go up. You're squeezing the scapula, look. As I go back, my scapula is squeezed. So it doesn't do this. Squeeze, down squeeze. When I straighten my arm, it squeezes more. And then I release. So there's so much work, stability in the back. Pull the shoulders away from your ears. Good, Tamara, more resistance. I know you can do more. Hold lower on the band. Hey, you, do you have resistance? No, okay, so anything you're holding. So when you come back here, squeeze and hold. <sighs> squeeze, 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 maximum, and then come back. So you can do without weights, but get that squeeze. Squeeze your scapulas as well. Nice. So, uh, Simone, you're rounding a little bit. So straighten and squeeze more. And rest, everybody. I don't know how many you did, but it's good. It's triceps. We don't want this sagging, so you can do 100. We'll be happy with that. Nice. Good? Okay. So, this one, everybody has to sit up or be on your knees. So, if you can't be on your knees, you're going to bring the band to your bum. Okay? And we're going to try to lift straight up and down. If you're on your knees, great. You can do it from here, okay? Again, you have to hold as much resistance as you can. If you need to sit back, you can. We're doing shoulders. So find where you need to be. If you're here, I need you to tuck your pelvis really tuck, abs tight. If you're here, it's fine. If you're seated, Dean, I'm not sure where you need to be. You can do anything that the band is gonna be able to lift here, okay? So if you can't cross the leg, this is fine. You can sit on something. All right, whatever you have chosen to do, roll the shoulders back, really anchor, pull as much resistance as you need to pull. I'm just gonna show it to you here. Shoulders back, abs tight, ribs hugging, and lift. As you lift the arms, your shoulders are pulling it slightly down. So you lift only as far as this is not lifting. So from here, around the neck goes down, but the rest lifts. The scapula is free to rotate as much as it needs to, slowly down, because then we're working the lats. You should feel it right here working to lower. Okay, try to do anywhere between eight to 12. 
nice and slow. So breathe out, lift and hold. Keep the shoulders relaxed, reach forward and up and slowly down. Keep reaching forward as you come down so you're relaxed and work. You should feel this working to resist that pull. For those with weights, you come up and slowly down with the weight. So I only have one. <laughs> Okay, so with weights you're here, however you're seated is the same idea, and slowly down, okay? So everybody has some resistance going on. Now, I need everybody to pull their core in. Keep your rib cage still, so when your arm goes up, I don't wanna see the shift of the ribs. You're still holding, so the higher the arm goes, the more you're working the core to maintain the spine completely stable. And make sure you're shifting the arm forward and up and you're keeping your shoulder nice and relaxed down. Okay, none of this. Nice, Giovanna, that's it. So try to bring the arm at least to shoulder level. It doesn't need to go up or somewhere around mid chest level, not down here. So if it's too strong, release resistance and try to come up here. And relax when you're done with your 8 to 12. That's really good. Everybody looks really nice. Well done with the shoulders. Okay. So last one we're going to do with the arms are arm circle. Circles. So I'm going to show you on my knee again, otherwise I come off screen. But you can do it off the knees, however you want. Okay? So we're, gonna, we're going to go up with the arm again, and you're going to go around and come back down. When you go around, there's no shift of the shoulder joint. The, the whole joint is stable, it's just the arm rotating inside the joint, okay? So we're gonna go up, you're gonna circle in front of you, so you're gonna keep reaching the arm really long to come down. Try to maintain resistance the whole time that you're circling. Anywhere between six to 10, one direction. And then you're gonna go to the side, up and forward to the side, up and forward, okay? So here's your side view, however you're seated. Shoulders are the same, so you go up, you keep reaching. So look at my shoulder. There's really not that much movement except for my arm. When I go up, it stays here. When I go back, it doesn't go with me. It stays in place, it's just my arm rotating. To maintain the stability, you just have to keep the reach of the arm the whole time that you're moving. Like you're pulling it out of the sockets to rotate. Okay, so finish the anywhere six to 10. This is pretty hard if you have resistance with the dumbbells, without dumbbells. Leila Mandic weights, you don't have weights? Do ah, your shoulder hurts, huh? So do it very light weights, very light. These are good for your shoulders. Here, in front of you, not too high, okay? Don't go beyond shoulders, just here. There you go, in front of you. Yeah, there you go, Leila. And keep reaching forward with it. Reverse if you haven't, but take a break before you go. Your shoulders should be really feeling these, yeah? So when you're done with one direction, you're gonna go to the side, but look, I'm at about 45 degrees. If I go here, I lose the stability here. Reach, 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 and then whatever height you wanna go up and down. Maintaining resistance, reach. And I look at my shoulder, reaching all the time, okay? Minimum movement on my scapula, so I don't want this, this is not what's moving me, it's my arm inside the joint. So reach as you move, reach as you move. Relax the shoulders. If it's tensing, Giovanna, keep your shoulders down here a little bit more or your circles a bit lower. Watch the ribs, everyone. Lots of core, so really hug this. Pull the abdominals in, good. It's your circle, keep reaching reaching, the reach is everything. Keep resistance if you can, all the time, resistance, all the time. Good, when you're done, let's stretch here. That hurt, right? <laughs> so keep the shoulder down, pull the arm across. Good. 
and then tricep, bring the hand back, so try to tap your back, then if you want to, you can rotate the armpit in if that helps your shoulder positioning. Then I like to lift my elbow and pull back. Try not to pop your ribs too much, just lift and send it back and try to glide your hand back, okay? Now, for those who can bind, you can bring it in and bind and do five breaths here. If you can, this is fine. Here, five long breaths and then we stretch the other side. Okay, so when you're done, you can go to the other arm, shoulder down, pull across. If you have any other stretch you'd like to do, you can do. Pull the arm, you can even pull the scapula. We didn't do a lot of scapula work today and like rowing and stuff. So I think most of you had bands. So if you don't have band, try to get from um, Tiger Store and we can do more of that scapula work that we usually do. But we did a lot of biceps and shoulders, which was good. So here, again, if your shoulder's unhappy, take the arm, rotate in, okay? Then take the elbow and the hand back. Lift and glide. If you can bind it, take it back and bind. So this is my non-binding side. Oh, there, I found it. Five breaths. Good, release. And one of my favorite stretches, courtesy of Mirna Amto. All right, here, hands be on the outside of your foot. So Dina, be careful with this one. You can just go back into any other stretch or you can do this light one if you like. This one has a lot of flexion. So for those with this, it might be too much. Hands on the outside of your feet. I'm gonna breathe out round. So I wanna push my rib cage back. I'm gonna round, round, round. And as I round back, my feet are pressing my hands forward. So I'm really opening up my back. Then, once you're pushing back, so look, if I let go of my hands, look what happens. I bounce back because all my force is going that way. It's my feet holding me. So, round back, but holding your feet. Round, round, round. Drop your head and relax. And then breathe to the area right between your scapulas. Open. When you breathe out, round back more and let your feet press your hand forward and you're gonna feel a very deep stretch. Five breaths like that. So breathing right between the scapulas. Breathe out, push back more and let your feet press your hands more and it should open. Make sure that your shoulders are wide, so try not to stretch like this. Stay wide and stretch like this, yeah? Just widen the shoulders not here good give me two more breaths to the back and then push back and stretch more it should feel really nice good and then we're going to do the opposite we're going to go to chest you're going to clasp your hands shoulders down so i reach my hand to the floor pull my scapulas down then i squeeze my scapulas and shift my hand back and my chest up and i I want you to breathe through the chest and open it up. So, shoulders, arms, scapulas, hands down, chest up. Then, squeeze scapula, shift the arm back and lift the chest even more. Breathe through the chest. Breathe out, squeeze the scapulas and send the arm down and back. Breathe in, lift the chest. Breathe out, shoulder down, scapula, squeeze arms back. Give me two more if you can. One more. And then release, roll the shoulders. Good. Side, very gentle side to side. And then nose. Ladies, learning how to say no while you stretch. <laughs> Good, and roll 
here. All right, ladies, so we can't, we're done. There's a lot of upper body today. That was really good job. Well done with the shoulder and scapula stability. So if you, can get, if you don't have them yet, there's a lot more we can do with this. And since I saw that most of you have a ball, for next time, those with the ball, try to empty it a little bit more and keep it soft, okay? And I'm gonna try to do a class with, with a lot more ball. So I'm glad most of you have a ball, just try to flatten it so I can use it next time. Great job, everyone. That was really good. Thank you, Thank you.